I am Jeff. This is my Potter's Journal for August 2021. It is time to go into production. And I don't mean in the garden. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the studio today on my Potter's Wheel. And into production again. I always start small. Uh, this is nine ounces of clay, a little over half a pound, and I even hand wedge these little teeny pieces. Otherwise, they just don't throw nice for me. So, not the little shots, but the tumblers. Small tumblers, large shots. Um, off and not off the hump, but individually made out of the nine ounces of clay. And uh, today is not so much about them, but the fact of getting back on the wheel with some production pottery after I don't know how many months away. It's been really March since I was serious about this. And not so much about that, but about after being away from shows, um, not having really any to go to for over a year, 2020, and um, being back to just my farmer's market um, this year since um, April. About having built up an inventory of pots for over a year, to have them stacked up into the studio. To where many of you even left words in the comments. <laughs> what will you ever do with all those pots? I am sold out. Well, not sold out, but sold out of what people like to buy. Um, they like to buy my pie plates. I had stacks and stacks of pie plates. Until all the blue ones were gone and I went through the studio to find every last one hidden in a corner or one that was waiting to be photographed and getting them to the sale and now um, that there were five different sizes stacked up and now there's only about five left so I've got to get back to making some pots pie plates. Um, these little shot tumblers were a surprise because I couldn't get much out of the ones that were real small thrown off the hump. So I finally reduced the price of those to practically nothing and you know it did work out okay. People would sometimes even buy stacks of them. And then this one I started uh, making bigger putting a little button medallion on it. And they did start this, they bought this one, and that was a surprise where they wouldn't buy the little ones, they would pay something for this. And they are sold out. And I would like, I still have some ideas for the faux wood series I was doing, the faux bois, the fake wood, the planters, the logs. I want to do some sculpture yet, it started. At some point, I will do it. But there are some shows lined up for the fall. There's Christmas coming, so I need to get serious about it. Um, okay, making something here that I will sell. But um, the face mugs, um, all the ones I couldn't believe. I hardly, I, I thought they looked odd blue, but the blue ones are all gone. And the pig banks. Okay, I didn't do large numbers of them, so I did them in every color. Well, the blue ones are all gone. And the chip and dip plates I knew at that point to do most of them blue, so I did practically all of them blue and maybe one 
of each size in my green celadon with the slip showing through. And I couldn't believe that they were all gone. And I had thought that I was selling them for way too less because I'd seen someone's online at what I thought was an outrageously high price for a chip and dip, or no, I played it was, but then found out that that included postage. So found out that uh, my prices are not all that under where they should be. And even after seeing that cup show at the local gallery in the spring, all the amount of time and effort and work that they put into those pieces that they were priced about the same as my face mugs. And I am not trimming these so I'm making sure the bottom is very clean. And I am evolving this a little bit. I think last time it had two clean straight lines. Well, this time I'm starting it low and working it up so it has a, a start and a beginning. And at most places where you look, you see the three lines in some place. And I will get the medallions on these yet. So I've got a lot of pots to make. I will make some here in my own studio and I will make some when I'm volunteering at the Southside Historic Village, uh, make pieces there that are easy to transport, and um, pieces maybe that take a lot of time, so I won't have that many to bring back. Okay, we'll let these dry up and get back to the rest of this. 21, back to production, all fairly consistent, except for that one you watched me make. And I always stop and think when I see a moth on my pot. So yes, selling pots, but if only we were making good money at it, if you are, let me know the secret and your trick to becoming a millionaire selling pots. Um, and there have been a few things I haven't been selling. I still have stacks of... Uh, soap plates and i'm thinking maybe i need to get together with the lady who makes the uh, soap at the farmer's market somehow a product share where i bring some of her things into my booth she takes uh, some of mine into hers i did that once with a jam lady and um they bought the jam from me they said they wouldn't go to her she was mean so <laughs> And, um, okay, these garlic grater plates, I sold a whole large special order to somebody once, but after that, a few. So maybe I need to get together with the garlic people or the oil people or, or do the free sample thing. <laughs> or maybe I need to tie little bits of raffia to the soap with the, and to this and do recipes. I don't know. Um, I am letting, it's been very wet and um, humid here, so the pots have dried out very slow. I've given them a couple days. I never rush things along. I'll show you how I finished up the, uh, the shots. If I got the size right, I hope they might be too big this time. Okay, so back in production. It's a couple days later. These were covered up. I still have three more to do. Um, I will put a link up here at the end. I've already done a video on this. However, I have changed it about a bit. Um, the first time, I think the little button medallions, I started putting them on the same color clay. So this time I am using a white clay. And a black clay and pressing the button in but about getting back in production now that we're started when you've got something covered and drying out in the studio it is something to draw you in and once you get one project started it's easy to jump into the next so I will be wedging up after I get this um, I always like in the morning coming in the um, 
Oh, trimming and little things like this. Putting little button medallions on here and pressing the button into it to get you out in the studio and ready to jump in the much bigger project of wedging clay for some large chip and dip plates. So this has got me started. The um, faux wood stuff I was doing, this is a lot easier. The physical aspect of that. Okay, made it um, something to really think out about when there'd be the energy for it. So, now that we've got production pottery back in production, it is time that I need to think about the green beans and putting something in the cans. So, I will say stop back next week and see what happens in the studio and in the garden.